Hi and welcome in another watch service video. As you already see, this time on Ticking Watch will be a watch a little bit different from all that you saw before because I will be servicing a lady watch with a very very small movement so stay tuned and thank you so much for all views and likes from my last video. And like always feel free to subscribe for more upcoming content. Ok, let's start a service of a Lady Mechanical watch. This will be a disassembly video, so first we have to open the case back and you have to do in this way, so it's just pressed. This case consists from actually two parts, actually three as you will see in a moment. And here we see a gold plating, it's 12.5, so uh, okay. Of course 20 would be better. Okay, let's take out the movement from this case pack, I will call it. And here we see the third part, it's some kind of steel ring and that's the movement, 16 joules. But I will make here a little bit cheating, I will replace the movement with a different one, with this one on the left. It's also working. If this movement was made in the same factory, I'm not sure, because uh, the bridges of the gear train are a little bit different. Anyway, this movement will also fit to this case, and here we have this steel ring, and that's all the parts. The crystal of this case, I think, will be easy to polish because it's acrylic. Cleaning the case is also needed to show the beautiful gold rose plating. Ok, now the hands of this watch, very small tiny parts, let's take them aside. Tail, ok it's dirty, it doesn't look as a most attractive tail and here we have the screws that are holding the tail feeds. So this is the first one, they are here on the edge of this small movement and here is the second one and I see here is pretty, pretty advanced corrosion here, I hope it will be ok. So yeah, it is possible to unscrew it. Now we need to lift only a little bit the tail. So the movement itself is called 1800, so it has 18 mm. It has no complication here, I will use this movement here, which has shock protection. It's also pretty dirty piece. And of course after I've removed the tail of camera, now I need only to release the tension on the spring, as we see the movement still works, but the balance doesn't swing really, really well here. And please notice here this beautiful Geneve pattern on the bridges. So. And they put in a lot of effort to, to make this movement beautiful, although you couldn't see it from the outside. Now this balance stone, okay the capstone is removed, but the chaton with the jewel doesn't want to come out. I think when I will do cleaning it will be simple to remove it. It just will fall down, I think. Ok, that's the spring. Let's unscrew the screw from the balance cock and remove the whole balance. As you see uh, on the main plate there are three pins that are adjusting the balance cock. And now we need to only remove the balance. And now what left is the pellet cock and the pellet fork. Okay, this screw was holding a little bit 
stronger. Let's <laughs> take a look and see how small is the movement comparing with my finger. Okay, let's come back to work. And now we have to take out the pellet cock. And there is still a little bit tension on the main spring. Okay, let's take this part, parts side. Now the ratchet wheel from the main spring arbor. And here we have a left threaded screw from the crown wheel. Okay, let's take these both screws aside. Now the crown wheel, now the ratchet wheel, okay, and here we have also a crown wheel ring, very thin and small. And let's now remove the barrel bridge, it is holded by three screws. My screwdriver is a little bit magnetized and when you are doing this simply it actually helps. Okay, so the bridge is out. I don't know if you had noticed, now I will take out the main spring barrel. I don't know if you have noticed but on the bridge, on the barrel bridge, there was a number 1801 and that's the caliber movement that has shock protection and the one that was here originally 1800 was without it okay now the jewel from the balance wheel from the day side We'll use Rotico and this one came out very very easily, pretty dark. Okay, let's secure the spring here, it's hacking a little bit here. Okay, I need to be here delicate not to break it or damage it. The hour wheel and now the canyon pinion. I'm doing this in this way. It's not the perfect because you have to be careful here not to bend the center wheel, pinion or even break it. So you need to pay attention on that. Okay, let's remove the setting lever spring and look here very carefully because here I'm missing something. I don't know if you have noticed, but you cannot take out the winding steam without removing these parts. Therefore the construction of the case is so like it is. Okay, now the yoke spring, the yoke itself. Okay, it has here some pinion, it's a little bit differently built. Okay, now the setting wheel, and yeah, uh, here we have the setting lever, and that's the setting lever, I just remove it a little bit off camera, and here we have the winding pinion, which is unfortunately broken. So I will have to find a replacement for that. I think there won't be any problem. I have some spurs from this movement, so I'm pretty sure I will find something. Okay, the train will bridge. That should be now very simple. And we actually almost finished with this movement. So it's really simple. The only difficulty here that you will find 
are actually dimensions. Okay, now the wheels. That's the wheels. So it has all wheels like any other movement. Here is no difference. In most cases, that's a four wheels. And that's it. Okay. Escape wheel. And we've done. Now I only will take a look inside the barrel. The mainspring barrel. And okay, it's dirty. But it's graphite grease which was used many many years ago and that's a sign that this watch or this movement didn't have any service since years. Okay, I'm finished here. The next video will be assembly of these tiny parts. Therefore subscribe and be alerted for new materials. Thank you for watching, I do really really appreciate it. And I hope I will see you here again very very soon. Bye bye.